Hello friends, welcome back to Marquee Soaps. Today we are making our succulent cupcake and succulent planter cold process soap. So in my bucket here, I have all of my oils. I have kaolin clay, uh, coconut milk powder. I also have a little bit of honeydew beige, mica, and orange vibrance. That will be the color of these. Um, so let's go ahead and get our colorants mixed up and our additives. And then we'll add in our lye water and make these soaps. For our fragrance, we are using Cucumber Wasabi Cilantro, and I also use this for another succulent soap this month. Um, I was going to use a different fragrance, but this one smelt so good, I just had to continue on with it. So we put in about two ounces of fragrance in here, and this is uh, two and a half pounds of oil, so the soap weight before it cures for this batch is 3.8 pounds. All right, so now that this is all mixed, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set up my molds, and then we'll get to pouring, and that'll be the first step. And then we'll put on our lovely succulents. So, here we have our cupcakes. Actually, I don't know why I'm filling those first. I wanna do the planners first. So it's still nice consistency to pour. I'm not going all the way to the top for these and I will show you why when we are done pouring. So in case you haven't seen the video where I spoke about these succulents, the reason that the month of April is all about succulents is because April marks my one year anniversary on Etsy and my succulent soaps that I made really, really uh, put me I don't know, as a contester on Etsy, I guess. It really helped my shop out. They have sold consistency consistently so well since my shop opened. They are one soap, the only soap that I try to have in stock all the time. It doesn't always work that way, but I do try. So what better way to mark my one year anniversary than to do a whole month based on different succulents. So we have, these planters are new. The cupcakes are not new, but I don't do them very often. Um, I have a slab mold that I did a succulent soap in that is a new design, and then we have our traditional one. And this is also a new scent, and it is absolutely amazing. This step is done. I'll bring you back when it's ready to put on our embeds. And here are our, our beautiful melt and pour succulents. So not all of these will fit on to here, but we have, I made enough succulents to do all of my soaps at one time. Okay, so we are finally back to put our succulents on our planter and cupcakes. So, um, just because, you know, you wouldn't know this, but I was able to make a whole nother soap and pipe it. And the time it took this just to set up so I could add these succulent flowers. So it took forever, <laughs> but it is okay. It is ready to go now. We are just gonna see what kind of designs we can put in here.
Okay, so now for our planters. Off to the side, I do have some melt and pour soap that I have added activated charcoal to. I am going to place the succulents on each of these. No, actually no, that's not what we're doing. So I'm going to, one at a time, pour some of this melt and pour soap in. And then put my succulent in there. Then we are going to take these white bursting beads and sprinkle some of those on each one. So I'm going to finish these up and I will see you back in a couple days to get these unmolded so you can see what the insides look like. And we are back to unmold our succulent planters and cupcakes. So to unmold these, you just peel the silicone back. And ta-da! So these are just so stinking cute. And our cupcakes may look a little bit different than last time. I decided to pipe all of my succulent, um, like the hand piping parts of it, all at once for all the soaps this month, and I forgot to hit record. So unfortunately, you don't get to see that footage, but I have made these before where I recorded it. So I will go ahead and put a link to that video in the description box below in case you are interested in watching me do that. So I thank everyone so much for watching. And if you don't have these cute little silicone molds, you should because they are just so cute. I love using ours. We keep one in the windowsill by our kitchen sink and it doesn't really get used, but on the rare occasion that we have people over, it is just a nice, cute little, I don't know, conversation piece, I guess. But anyways, thanks for watching. These will be available on April 4th if you are interested and we will see you all next time. Bye guys. Have a great day.